Hey people, it's Christmas Eve. I'm gonna show you what I get up to tomorrow because I think it's gonna be the last day of fun in ages. On Boxing Day in Norfolk and pretty much the rest of the country is being put into tier four. Sorry, what even is tier four? When did this start? I thought tier three was the highest and then suddenly there's an announcement that London and some other places are being put into tier four. And now Norfolk is too, which is great. It's really, really sad, but we'll move on. It's Christmas tomorrow. I feel like I'm finally getting into the festive mood. I don't know about you, but for the whole of December, I've just not been feeling Christmassy. As in, I'd probably say I was feeling more Christmassy in March, but that's all changed today. I'm now really excited. I just wrapped my mum's Christmas present. I mean, someone call this wrapping, but I thought it was better to make it neat than to do a really bad job and wrap the whole thing. I tried wrapping the whole thing and it just looks so bad. So I just did one strip. Do you think that matters? I'm sure it'll be fine. My bigger problem is my sister's presents. I bought them all the same thing from Urban Outfitters home gift kind of section. Check it out if you haven't for your siblings presents or just presents in general, it is phenomenal. Anyway, I get an email from them being like, product recall, your product is dangerous and needs to be sent back immediately. So when they open them, I'm just gonna have to take them all off them and send them back. So I basically haven't got my sister's presents, which is really, really bad. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Anyway, I need to go put this under the tree and join my family because they're all waiting for me downstairs. <laughs> About to get into bed but i want to show you my presents every year me and my sisters open a few presents from our godparents a few days early because we just can't resist and the temptation just gets too much and it did i got this scarf it's really soft i'm not gonna lie i am kind of in love and i also got these pajamas which are also really soft i've been wanting long pajamas for ages anyway i'm so tired as in the minute i make contact my head and the bed i'm gonna be asleep so I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Happy Christmas. I know by the time you're seeing this, it's probably not going to be Christmas anymore. So I hope you had a good Christmas. My sister's just woken me up and it's really, really early. Anyway, I woke up and guess what was on my bed? Oh my gosh. I genuinely have been so excited for my stocking. I'm going to go open it. We open it every year on my parents' bed. So I can't really show you me opening the presents, but I'll show you what I got later. Ho, ho, ho. Family gang, heading to church. <laughs> right, I'm back. Sorry, I've had a really busy morning. So we opened our presents in my parents' bedroom and then all went down for breakfast. And at breakfast, I made everyone a hot chocolate. One of my presents was a hotel chocolate velvetizer. If you don't have one of these, honestly, get your hands on one. That was easily the nicest hot chocolate I've ever had. It was salted caramel, but it comes in every different flavor. So I've got these sachets and it's like chocolate flakes. It is just amazing. Honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend. Anyway, after that, what did we do? Oh, we went to church every Christmas and Easter. My family go to the village church. And it's actually quite a nice occasion. But this year, we can't sing, which was a bit of a shame. Anyway, I'll show you what I got in my stocking. I'm not gonna lie, I did do really well this year. Quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag in any way by showing you what I got for Christmas. I just thought you guys would find it interesting. And yeah, I loved absolutely everything. So yeah, here's what I got. First, I got some new skincare stuff. It's Drunk Elephant. I got the moisturizer, micellar water, if that's how you say it, and jelly cleanser. I know this may not seem interesting to some people, but I'm actually really happy with them because basically I went to London a few weeks ago and went into Space NK because I was just really bored of my whole skincare and lack of makeup routine. So I wanted to spice it up a bit. And so basically I asked for all new stuff. I got some more makeup actually. Right, 2021. It's the year I'm gonna learn how to do makeup well. I got this palette from Hourglass. I think it's bronzer and all the stuff like that. I then got some lip stuff because I don't really own any lip stuff. I got brow gel, tinted moisturizer. I also got some fake tan drops. I'm really happy with them because I'm feeling pretty pale at the moment. Oh, and then I got this, which is a spot cream. I'm pretty sure you put it on and overnight the spot's meant to disappear. To me, that's just really cool. I kind of want a spot now to test it out. Actually, no, I really don't. What else did I get? I got some clothing bits. I got this jumper, some pajamas. Pajamas at Christmas, you just can't go wrong. Some chocolate. I kind of want to eat this now, but we're having our massive Christmas lunch in about 10 minutes. So I just don't think that would be a good idea. Finally, this. You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? It's a personalised yoga mat. I'm sorry, but how cool is that? I didn't even know these existed and I don't own a yoga mat, so I'm kind of happy with this. Anyway, I need to go downstairs because 
my grandparents were arriving. My grandparents live at the end of the garden, by the way, we're kind of in the same bubble. My cousins couldn't come though, which is really sad because they live in London. So we were meant to have a really fun Christmas with all the cousins, but no. Oh well, oh well, moving on. Whee. I'm actually getting pretty ravenous right now. It's like five in the afternoon now and I'm feeling a bit like death. I don't really know why. I think it's just because I've had so much chocolate so I'm on a sugar low. I'm trying to wake myself up as in my sister's making cocktails downstairs as we speak. And I've put on these moisturizing eye patches. It's kind of like an eye mask and they are kind of waking me up. Oh, I haven't shown you yet. Look what my parents got me. I'm sorry, but they're cordless hair straighteners. How cool is that? And guess what? So my sister's opened the presents, you know, the ones which were meant to be faulty. Turns out it was the wrong batch. So Urban Outfitters have sent us a code. So I basically get money off and we got to keep the presents. So it's a win-win situation and I'm loving it. Anyway, I need to go because I have just been sitting on my bed, on my phone by myself for the past hour and a half and my whole family's downstairs. That's really antisocial of me actually. Yeah, I really need to go. While I was upstairs, my family decided without me that we're having a casino night because one of my sisters got a poker set in her stocking. To be honest, I'm not really complaining. It sounds quite fun. She's just made everyone cocktails. She made espresso martinis. And at first taste, I was like, mm. This tastes like a Starbucks Frappuccino. Little did I know, it is horrible, horrible. So I'm making my own cocktail. That was nearly gonna be very bad. I was about to shake it without the lid on. How does this work? Hmm, that's pretty good. Jesus Christ, that's ginger ape. Anyway, I need to join everyone next door. Again, I'm being so antisocial. I'll give you a bit of context for this next bit. The fire was going out in the sitting room, so my older sister thought it was her duty to relight it. And yeah, she did this by getting really close to it and blowing in it. You'll see, you'll see, but her hair now stinks. And yeah, I really would not recommend doing this at home. I am the fire whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> right, good morning. It's not even morning. It's like 4 p.m. Look, it's even getting dark outside. I've slept all day today. It's kind of disgusting. I had a really, really fun night last night though. We played Texas Hold'em. My sister taught it to all of us and really good game. Apart from my family's quite competitive, so it did cause a few arguments, but really fun. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here because it's Boxing Day. God, that officially means we're in tier four. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you also had a fun Christmas and I will see you soon. Bye.